I'm so grateful for my ex and I can't sing and we know this man <laughs> I cannot sing welcome to the channel of issues I talk about them all the good the bad the crazy the insane the ones we typically talk about each other mostly behind each other's back because we all have issues. How we deal with those issues, that is the difference. My name is Miss Charlotte. You can look at me as your big auntie, your big sister, or your favorite cousin, or your homegirl around the corner, or maybe, just maybe, you already have the answer. You know what you're supposed to do, but you need that extra push. Whatever works for you, it works for me. And please know that when you come to my platform, I keep it 100% raw and honest because these are issues, but it comes from a place of love, disciplinary love, because I want us all to become more accountable for our actions. We all make choices and we need to deal with the consequences. Now, the reason why I love that song, Thank You Next, is not because a lot of you think she's being shady. She's actually keeping it real. And ladies and gentlemen, I really believe that you should Thank your exes because your exes, they bring on experiences. Now, some of these experiences are wonderful and some of them are not. But this is what I ask you to really try to do. And I know this is going to be hard to hear because we're so quick that we want to point the finger because we're hurt. The other person did something to us that hurt us. We're bitter. We're angry. I understand all of that, but it always takes two to get into a relationship and it takes two to make a relationship and it takes two to end the relationship. So what I ask for you to do, especially you ladies, ask yourself, what did you allow to happen that helped in this relationship? And I know you're like, I didn't cheat. You didn't cheat, but you allowed a lot. And I'm going to help you get there by using myself. I had to learn a lot about myself through experiences. And that's what I'm asking you to do. Don't just break up and get into the next relationship and not take something from the last. Okay. So with me, I was in this four year relationship and he wind up cheating. But I had to really sit back and say to myself with well, Charlotte, what did you allow? And let me tell you, I allowed a lot. And the reason why I, I allowed a lot was because I didn't want to deal with my own ish. Okay? Let me tell you, I got comfortable. I gained so much weight. I got comfortable with the extra income. He moved in with me. He was paying half the bills. I got comfortable with that extra income. Sex. It takes me a long time to get in my groove, to let all my, you know, insecurities go. So I got comfortable with regular sex. I did not want to deal with any of that ish. I did not want to get my butt in the gym and lose weight because he was, you know, accepting me with all my rolls and all my fat. So I didn't want to, you know, get in the gym and deal with that. I also didn't want to deal with my bills. I didn't want to start paying all my bills again by myself. And I didn't want to go through that drought. Miss girl, you know what I'm talking about. Once it's over, it's not quick for us to just find the next dude. So we're going to go through a sexual drought. And I did not feel like going through any of that. So I got comfortable with a lot of things that I just did not want to deal with. So instead, I allowed some things. I allowed him to hang out with the boys a little longer when I know deep down he probably wasn't hanging out with the boys every time he said he was. I knew he was doing certain things. I was allowing him to come home three, four o'clock in the morning. You know, I was allowing him to cheat on me. As long as he paid those bills, as long as I got that sex on the regular child, and as long as I didn't have to get in the gym, you see what I mean? Do you see how I assisted in that? But once, you know how it is, ladies, once we've had enough and we're fed up, there's nothing they could do about it. It's over. It's done. We get out too often. We get angry. We get bitter. We get mad and we want to point the finger and we never want to realize that we had something to do with it. So after you get over the anger, after you get over the bitterness, I, I just ask you to take the time to evaluate how you played a part in that. And I'm telling you, if you do that, you will get your growing pain 
and your growing gain out of that experience. And for me, now moving forward, when I get into a relationship, I know now, I know my weaknesses. My weakness is, you know what? Stay fit, stay in the gym, keep yourself up. Because when I keep myself up, I feel more secure about myself. And when I feel secure, there's a lot of BS that I'm not gonna take. But if I let myself go, I'm going to get insecure. I'm going to take whatever because I'm just like, well, you know, they're going to accept this and they're going to accept that. So let me just be quiet. I don't really um, have the total confidence to ask for what I deserve. So for me, I have to keep myself up. I have to keep myself in the gym and I have to do it for myself. I also am more independent. I'm not always going to be dependent on that man to take care of my bills or to take care of half of them or to help me out. No, when I get into this next relationship, I'm still going to take care of myself, take care of my own bills. I'm going to stay in my own place. He can stay in his own place and we can do some things together, but I'm not going to fall into that dependent feeling. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to stay independent as much as I possibly can. I'm not going to depend on his money. There, there's a difference, okay? It's not that a man can't help you and support you, but when you depend on it, 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 it allows you to let certain things slide. You know, you, you just kind of just let things, you know, fall by the wayside if you know what I'm talking about. And when it comes to the sex, this is the hardest part because, you know, it is what it is. A lot of us aren't as sexually liberated as others. And for me, it takes a long time. But what I'm starting to realize is I'm going to just have to be, you know, going through a drought if I have to, if it means my integrity and if it means, you know, protecting my feelings. And the second part about this song that I love is that lyric where she says, I know I move on too fast, but this time it's going to last because she's going to date herself. That is such an important message. Instead of jumping from relationship to relationship, take your time because it's true. Your exes bring on experiences and you have to learn more about yourself from that experience. What kind of person was you with that person? What kind of person was you in that relationship? Were you being yourself all the way? Were you pretending to be something that you're not to be in that relationship? Did you compromise a lot just to be in that relationship? There's so many things that you could learn out of that experience, but the only way you're gonna really learn is if you take the time to yourself to get to know yourself and to take your time to look at those mistakes, look at those issues and work on them. That way, when you get into the next relationship, yes, you're going to make mistakes, but you're not going to repeat the same mistakes. When you get into the next relationship, there's some things you might have compromised that you really didn't want to. Well, guess what? You won't compromise it in the next relationship. So it's very important for you to take your time. And I know it's hard to be by yourself but you're going to have to learn how to be by yourself. It's the only way that you can really get to know yourself. And that way, when you get into a relationship, you can be a better partner. I hope you understand what I'm saying here. If you do, give me the thumbs up. If you don't, give me the thumbs down. Leave it in the comment. And no matter what, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Miss Burley to You. And until the next issue, See you later.